the next thing we need to do is get this line this line in so the idea with the with the tree is that we wanted to have it be something that you can kind of walk into so I thought that having like one of those creepy kind of like root uh, holes in the base of it might be kind of fun so that's what this is supposed to be and there's gonna be more layers to it like the actual opening might be much smaller but this is kind of like the main the main thing that you're gonna see from from far away uh, and I want to get like the outside of the tree kind of mapped in because I want to try and put a circle or an oval or something kind of like up at this stage so we can kind of get an idea as to what the bulk of the tree is going to be like where where the trunk is going to be so I had roughed this in the other day really really quickly and now what I want to do is I want to try and see if I can Put some pixel art in or not pixel art but i guess some some mapping uh in there to be a little bit more accurate so the other thing i wanted to try and do was to be able to walk underneath some of these roots so somewhere around around here there could be like a path that goes underneath it that could be kind of fun too i haven't really figured out whether this edge is like the outer edge of the path around the tree or whether it's the inside edge but we need to have something where the castle wouldn't get any closer than this so right now it's a decent marker but it's gonna be a lot of i think fluctuation here and there so this isn't gonna be the farthest south that the tree goes but it's gonna be real close so unfortunately this is like halfway between the ground here and the top of the first elevator so it's going to be easier to pillar up and do it this way what are we sitting on here this is 100 there we go 110 we have to go out one two three four five six seven i'm not c what we can accomplish here. I guess what I probably should do is have some ladders that go up to various different heights at the lower levels. That would probably make sense. Uh, go down here. Yeah. So that's one, two. And then this comes, I believe this goes out to here and then it's another out to here it's always a little bit slow doing these from underneath but uh, having them finished and being able to take, take screenshots with them is really really helpful oh cool grab these I hear a zombie somewhere. Oh, well, that's higher than I thought. Okay. Back up we go. Where are we here? So we get close. Yeah. Three, four, so one. Two, three, and then can I do this this way? One, two, three, four, perfect. This is where it starts to take a curve and we're going to bring it out by one and then 
say down another two. And then it looks like five. It's nice when you get to the end of these curves because then they start to come together like really quickly, which is nice. And there's a zombie underneath this platform that is just itching to get a hold of me. I can hear him. Okay, and then one there. That's one. Oh. Uh, you know, I don't like the look of the scaffolding block, but I can absolutely understand its use. Uh, one, two, three. And then I think there's a four, five, four, five. And what's interesting here is that we can actually maybe bring it back around. So maybe f have it look like it curves back in a bit. Oh, I wanted to jump and get that stone. Ha! And then have it do one. And then actually, that's going to be in the right spot for that. So we might be able to smooth it out later. But like if you're walking by this, the idea is that this is like a curved route that kind of like goes under the ground there. And you can walk kind of by the curved part of it. That's the idea anyway. Let's go take a look and see if this is starting to feel feel like it's looking well. Fly over here. So of course that tree is in the way. I think it might be time to actually take that down. You can sort of see like if this was coming forward and then dripping off here on the cliff and then this was like this is the edge the farthest route. This actually curves back up into a branch like it goes up that way. And then this part of the tree comes down and goes goes down like that. But I think I think I said exactly what needs to happen. I think we have to take our axe to this lone this lone spruce tree here and say goodbye to the thing that is in our way. I feel like I've got some wood in here somewhere. All right, so tree is gone. This kind of thing is still here for like proportions and stuff. So I think we should be able to see, see that curve that we just drew from afar now. Maybe we'll just swoop in here and see. Oh, so it's, we're far enough down that we can't actually see it. Interesting. All right, well, we'll just have to get higher. Yeah, so it sort of has like some energy to the tree, you know, kind of has some curve and some life to it. Getting there. It's slow. Slow and steady. So there's one more curve I want to try to put in. And it's not as well planned as that one, but it's in the same sort of realm. And I want to double check, though, how far these are apart. So... Let's just see here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Right? No, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Cool. Close enough. And again, we already said that this was off by one. So when I checked the graphic, it was 13, but that would make sense because if this was supposed to be up by one, then that would also add an empty block there and that would line up. So that's good. So there's a space between this and the next one. And it looks like this is supposed to start Oh, no, I was wrong. There's one more block. So it starts here. 
So it goes three and then two, another two. Basically it just, it kind of follows this, but then it takes a different track, it takes a different angle. <laughs> we need a perfectionist command for the channel. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think that that feels about right. Uh, and then I want to have this one actually continues down. So this is really long. This is like, whoops, no. I hear him. Where's the zombie? Summers. Let's just scoot out this way. I need to get like one block closer. There we go. One, two, three, four. I think unfortunately I now have to go down here. Build up this way here. Oh wow, this is far. So what did I say that was? Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it should be there. And then here, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll just do the same thing again, probably. Just for now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll call that the bottom. Chances are it's going to be underground anyway, but why not complete it since we're here? Grab a nap and then take a look. Yeah, I think that's gonna make the, the base of the tree look pretty substantial. So that is probably like the, the, the farthest, I think that's north. Yes, no, that's south. That's north. So the farthest south the tree goes is gonna be there and the farthest north is going to be like out, out this way. Just kind of fly over here and take a look. Yeah, feeling a lot more sturdy, I think. Starting to get a picture for it. So I do want to try and pull it up a little bit more, uh, a little bit higher. Uh, unfortunately, I am running tight on time. So uh, I think we're going to call the stream there. It's a bit of a shorter one today. But uh, thanks for hanging out, folks. Uh, I know it's been a little tedious with all the counting and, and whatnot, but I think it paid off at the end. Uh, if you are still around later on this evening, then again at 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, we are going to be uh, doing a charity stream for Jennifer Harper. Uh, you can find all the links over at Grumpy Owl Gaming on Twitter. Uh, he will be tweeting everything out uh, later on today. And for me, you can follow me on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. It's all just my name, Joel Duggan. Thanks for hanging out on the Realm of Vasta with me, and I will see you next time.